Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be doing problems from today's bi-weekly contest and so the first one is find words containing character. And this one you're given a zero index array string words and a character x and you want to return an array of indices representing the words that contain the character and the returned array may be in any order. So also if you look at the constraints there are only 50 words and each word can only have 50 characters and x is a lowercase English character. So pretty much what we have to do is we're given a character and we're asked to return an array of indices of words where the letter is in. So in this first example, E is in both of these. So it returns 0, 1. In the second example, we have four words and A is in the first one and the third one. So we return 0, 2. In the next one, we're looking for Z. It's not in any of them. So we want to return an empty array. And this is pretty much, uh, I have to say, probably the easiest leak code problem I've ever seen so far. So it's going to be a pretty short video. But essentially, all you have to do is, for a word, you just have to loop through the characters and check if there's a match, right? So you just go through your array, you keep track of the index, and you just loop through the characters. And if there's a match, then you put that index into the result array. And that's pretty much it. So like for this one, you would go through leet, let's say, and then you would check, like, is L equal to E? No. Is E equal to E? Yes. And as soon as you find one match, you can just break your inner loop searching through the word. And then you would just return the word or the index. So what you can do to make this, um, I guess, a little bit harder is practice a list comprehension. So basically what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get an output as a list comprehension instead of doing this like looping thing. And so in Python, um, if you do like something like this, like if you say I in like whatever word, right? So like, I don't know, chin or something. Essentially in can check if a character is in a uh, word because a word in Python is like an array. So you're basically saying like, is this, is this word, is this character in the array? And it'll tell you yes or no. So you can just use that to see if your letter is in your word. You could also uh, actually do something more complicated, but this is good enough. So we're just going to do a list comprehension. So we're going to say return. And what do we want to return? We want to return the index, right? So we'll say return words I. I'm sure it's going to make this for I in a range of length words, right? So we're saying let's go through every index in words and let's return words I. So right now this will basically return every single word. Actually, we don't want to return words I. We want to just return the index, right? So now what this will do is it will return the index of every single uh, word and word, but we also have to filter by the word containing the character. So we can just say if word words I, or it's going to be like this actually, it's going to be if X in words I, right? So if this letter is in the word, then add it to our list of indices. And we can run that. And there we go. So once again, pretty straightforward else comprehension. We're just saying, let's go through all of the words. And if the word contains a letter, then let's add its index to our result list. And yeah, so let's go through the time and space for this one. So for the time we are looping, if we go back to the description, we are looping through all of the words, right? So basically what in will do worst case is it will loop through all of the words and every single character in the word. So let's say M is like the amount of characters in a word and N is the number of words. It'll be M times N. And for space, it is a one because we're just using the result. You don't need to make any other data structures or anything. So yeah, pretty easy one. Going to be all for this one. I'll probably make another video or two for this bi-weekly contest today and do the rest of it in the next few days. So thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please like the video and subscribe to your channel. And I'll see you in the next one.